astronomical banner for any sprightly front page tonight. At almost midday Eastern time, NBC News project projected Richard Nixon, the 37th president of the United States, when it became evident he had tied Illinois. Final returns may well reveal that indeed it was Mayor Richard Bailey's Illinois and Mayor Richard Bailey's Chicago which averted a deadlock and a political constitutional crisis of incredible proportions. 94% of the popular vote is counted, and there are the numbers. An hour or so ago, I tied the percentages out to six digits, and it went like this. Nixon, 43.2959%. Humphrey, 43.2584%. Wallace, 13.4457, and now it's gone a little over 14. In short, Nixon and Humphrey are separated by about 375,000 of 1 percent. The electoral vote shows Nixon with 287, Humphrey with 166, and Wallace with 45. David? As it turned out, in the late tired hours of last night, or the early tired hours of this morning, Richard Nixon won the election this time, where eight years ago he lost it in Illinois. It was so close, it took forever, but he won it, and in winning that, he won the presidency. It was, again, one of the closest elections in American history, closer even than when Nixon lost to Kennedy eight years ago. His lead over Humphrey in the popular vote is still only about 25,000 votes, or about one-fifth of a vote per precinct. There are states where we still don't know, even now, for certain, who won. But whichever way these states go now, they can't change the outcome. Here, for the figures up to this minute, are some of the big, important states that kept Nixon, Humphrey, and the country waiting all night to see what happened, beginning with New York. There's the result. Humphrey won it. In Michigan, Humphrey won it. In Ohio, Nixon. California. Nixon won it, but barely. Texas. Still not sure in Texas. In Missouri, we're still not sure. Too close. Pennsylvania went to Humphrey. Took a long time to decide it, but it went. And Illinois for Nixon, and that did it. The Huntley Binkley Report is produced by NBC News. When the strongest nation in the world can be tied down for four years in a war in Vietnam with no end in sight, when the richest nation in the world can't manage its own economy, when the nation with the greatest tradition of the rule of law is plagued by unprecedented lawlessness, when a nation has been known for a century where equality of opportunity is torn by unprecedented racial violence, and when the President of the United States cannot travel abroad or to any major city at home without fear of a hostile demonstration, then it's time for new leadership for the United States of America. They're late. Gonzalez! You're late! Sorry, but the place on the street was selling churros for a nickel apiece. <laughs> churros? Do I care? And where's Junior? He's coming, and what about the other institutes in Martinez? Couldn't make it? Those lazy sons of... I thought he would have been here by now. There's always a delay with him. Hey, guys. Oh. What's your excuse? We waited 10 minutes. Can't you tell the time? Oh, sorry. My delay. Well, don't just stand there. Let's get this started. Look at this. It's from Bob. Next one? Yes. He's telling us that the Democrats may be up to suspicious activities. But we have to stop them. But how? Junior, haven't you thought of anything? 
I sure have. Was this handy dandy? Microphone caption. It records like that. And we can capture their voice 24 7. Look, Nixon needs to win this election, and he's done so much for us. It's a nice repayment in exchange. I'm sure of one thing the Democrats are going to fall. Yeah! <laughs> Time, be more careful. Hello? Yes. Not quite. What? Are you serious? Okay, it will be done. Goodbye. Well, guess what? There will be a next time. What? We're going in again? Yes, and this time he wants the microphones installed. Oh, well, we're doing it here. That should be no problem. Remember, we have a mission this time. Don't blow our cover or else Nixon will be all over us. Speaking of break-ins, what valuable information did we find last night? I found this. I found this. I hope you did better than Sturgis and Martinez. They didn't find anything. Last month's donut order. A Canadian boy was to become a principal free lobotomy on Sundays. What on earth did you find? That was crap. What is wrong with you two? Oh my god! Hold on, hold on. Oh my god! 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 O